March 17th, the city shuts down and goes into lockdown and Wenton calls me and says, how can we keep the band together? Is there a way to make music? And within the week, actually, people had started already performing from home. That became that question of, you know, immediately knowing that we had to have a synchronous picture, audio capture, or else it just wasn't going to work at all. And I said, well, we can do it to click. Now, we're not doing it to a click, okay. Well, the, somebody has to be the timekeeper, obviously the drummer, and that we were gonna end up having to layer it and multi-track it, like as if we were in the studio adding each person as, as we go. So in order to do so, every time it was performed, they'd have to send me picture and audio. We'd have weekly Zoom calls, I think every Thursday, on a band call and they'd discuss uh, the chart that they were gonna run down and, and he'd assign you know the arranging to somebody and um, you know they would come up with a chart and these were fresh charts and, you know either new arrangements or a new piece of music you know the drummer would basically head to the shed and Obed would start would go and lay it down based on what you know was decided how many bars at what tempo and you know and uh, always getting a count off you know I needed something at the top like you know some chops once the rhythm track was down and he said I'd glue I'd mix them together at that point it was ready to go out to the sections and so each section has a leader the leader would put their part on so at least so those guys had the section leader guide on it we didn't know how long we would have to do it but it did become um, you know, like the main creative output for that band last year and, you know, definitely making it sound record quality was then the objective because even though the video looks like everybody's in their own space, it needed to sound like everybody was on stage. I found that the, the Two Bus Plus, you know, had all the juice and, and really could cohesively do it at the same time once it was all together, even if the mix was happening, can't go out at record level which is where most of my room is tuned to. So what I felt sounded more like the mixes that I had was, you know, letting the dangerous turn it down for me. So I'd start with the two bus plus, maybe I could get four out of that, maybe I could get six dB out of it, and then, you know, finish it up at the converter and grab two more dB out of it. So I know our instinct as mixers is to put more and more and more in, what can you get away with? But when you get to video, it's what can I get out of it, you know. So the end of story was that they had to have record quality recordings out of telephones, you know. So more about that human spirit and, and that, you know, that can-do spirit that came from it and for everybody and, and everybody was just doing their very best. Let each experience inform the next and, you know, it, it sort of, we got there, you know, we got to a place where we went from doing one piece of music to doing almost a whole show. Baby, you'd have a fall, baby, you'd do love, I don't let her do.